morning everyone and Merry Christmas Eve since it's uh, December 24th today. Uh, I'm actually in LA this morning. I came last night uh, for work as usual. Um, it's my last LA of the month and um, probably for a while because the next month I'm going to London often. Um, so today I'm probably just gonna go for a walk on the beach since um, I woke up and I wasn't feeling too well, a little bit under the weather this morning. So I'm just gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna go for a run. I haven't been for a run in such a long time. Like, such a long time. Uh, when I say such a long time, I mean like a few days. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of nervous for this uh, 5K run that I have to do in March. So, so yeah, so I wanna do it, do as many runs as I can if, um, for it. And uh, so yeah, but I think today it's better if I don't go since I am going to Dublin tomorrow night. Um, so, so yeah, I have to take it easy. If you haven't understood yet what kind of job I do, I'm a flight attendant. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what I do. And uh, yeah, so I go to Dublin. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, kind of excited about that because like love Dublin so much I actually wanted to move there um, I still want to move there it's I just feel like it's such a such a nice city so lively everybody's so happy always and they're so they're so willing to help and so nice I love that um, also I love Guinness so um, as you saw actually as you saw in my last video since uh, my mom got me chocolate Guinness no Guinness chocolates uh, which I haven't tried yet they're still at home so they're waiting for me and um, yeah so I'm going to vlog when I get to Dublin hopefully I can go out for a bit see the city and uh, yeah because uh, it's Christmas so Probably the whole crew wants to go out. So it's gonna be fun. Okay, see you in a bit. Guys, so my favorite coffee shop is closed. I even looked it up online. I thought it was gonna be open. It said it was gonna be open. But anyways, I ended up going to Starbucks in fact. And I got my coconut latte as usual. Because I'm trying to do non dairy. And uh, yeah, so now we're gonna go to the beach. <laughs> December the 28th today, I just came back from my flight uh, from Dublin. Actually, no, I came back yesterday, but it's the first day that I'm actually home. Okay, I'm sorry for the voice. I, I got sick on my way to Dublin, so I, was, I wasn't able to do anything, basically. I wasn't able to go out or I basically slept the whole time. I didn't leave my hotel room and I kind of felt better the day after but I was still a little bit sick. But anyways, um, yeah, that happened. So then I came back yesterday. I took it easy. I saw my mom uh, my sister um, and that's pretty much it. Um, today we're going 
to celebrate uh, with my mom's cousin. So that's gonna be fun. And uh, I'm slowly recovering, so that's good. Mm, what else? I haven't been doing much since I've been sick. So yeah, I'm probably gonna vlog today and then try and post this video Sunday next week since tomorrow I'm supposed to go to Frankfurt. Maybe I'll be able to vlog in Frankfurt. Let's hope. Um, okay, just wanted to give you an update on uh, what's happening right now. Um, I'm outside, as you can tell. And it's actually not too bad today. Um, yesterday was 8 degrees, which is amazing for Toronto in December, end of December actually. By the way, did you guys know that the airport in Dublin closes on Christmas Day? I had no idea that that was a thing. Um, Toronto never closes. I've always worked during the, the Christmas uh, holidays, Christmas Day, so I had no idea. Also, the hotel in Dublin was closed on the 26th. They weren't doing, and like there wasn't, there wasn't much to do, and there wasn't a lot of stuff either. And I tried to get um, room service. And they didn't have much. I was really shocked. Like in a good way and also in a bad way. Like in a good way because, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to have that day off um, as, a, as a worker. Um, so I actually really like that. Uh, but also being a customer, I understand the struggle uh, not being able to, you know, get a, get a service, um, especially when you're in another country. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's a really good idea that, they, that it's a really good thing that they don't work uh, on Christmas Day because it's a day that you should spend with your family, you know. I actually was pretty sad about not being able to spend it with my family, um, so that didn't help, I think, um, me being sick because it just made me a little bit more uh, upset than I should have been. So yeah, so uh, I just wanted to let you know that and uh, if you can confirm that that's actually a thing because I had no idea. guys uh, so today it's uh, December the 30th uh, so we're so close to the end of the year oh my gosh it's insane um, so this morning I woke up in Frankfurt I'm gonna go meet my friend that I worked with coming here in a few in a couple of hours I think and then we're gonna meet up with uh, the a few other people and we're gonna go to dinner i'm so excited i can't wait to eat this schnitzel and potatoes i think 
um i've been waiting for this for so long <laughs> i keep telling everybody that i'm so excited and they're just like oh my gosh shut up anyways uh so that's what i'm very excited about for this layover uh then i go back to toronto tomorrow and uh and then i have a week off finally i feel like i've been working for so long and i haven't uh had a moment to myself i also have to go back get back into my routine and my training uh, because i haven't run for a week which it's kind of giving me anxiety thinking that it's so close to march and I, when the run is gonna be and i haven't been doing much at all uh so yeah so i'm gonna be running i think and getting back into my um healthy eating let's say uh after all this chocolate and desserts and a pizza and you know regular holiday festivities which i haven't had much of but i just feel like chocolate has just been a big part of my daily diet for the new year I actually i think my friend is coming over tomorrow for new year's eve uh but i don't think we're gonna be doing much we're just gonna have a nice quiet night in i think um yeah also i hope th uh stores are open because i have to go and get some stuff if we want to eat and you know drink something for the new year's though i was thinking that I don't actually have resolutions, which is really weird because I usually have at least one. But this year, it's uh, I guess it's because uh, this last month has been so hectic with all this working and uh, my mom being in Toronto, so making plans with her, going out, that I haven't really thought about what I would want to do to better myself in the next year. Um, I guess if I if I do think about something that I would want to make better it would be my blog probably and my YouTube <laughs> since I just started that so that would be nice to be able to do more of it um yeah and basically I just hope to be healthy that my family is healthy my my friends are healthy and you know all the the next year is just i hope it's gonna be a better year 2020 i, can't, I still can't believe it's 2020 i feel like i i remember what two thousand when 2000 was coming and i was so just so excited and freaked out that a new millennium was starting um so yeah 2020 We'll see what it brings. Hopefully, just a lot of joy and happiness. Um, I was talking to a few people on my last flight. And uh, there was one lady that was like, Oh, I just want love and babies. <laughs> I'm just putting it out in the universe. I thought that was so cute and so funny. Um, because I, I really hope that happens for her, you know? Like... You have to be honest with yourself and like if that's what you really want you should go for it although in that case it's kind of hard because love is just a hard subject um i mean it's not like you you can go and do it and find it on your own it's um it kind of just falls into your lap right um i mean it hasn't happened for me yet which is good like I, i'm not i don't feel like i need it right now i mean if it's always welcome of course but um but if uh if it does happen it happens if it doesn't for me it's okay right now i just thought it was uh it was so sweet of her uh to tell to just put it out in the universe you know like tell everybody um that that's what she wants and that's what she is gonna try and uh get in the new year uh yeah for me it's not babies it's not love although i mean if it comes it comes <laughs> that would be nice um 
I just I just really want my business to get better um, I can't there's a few new and exciting things that are gonna happen uh, changes that are gonna happen in uh, the new year actually very soon in like about two months kind of thing and um, I'm really really excited about that I'll tell you more about it when I know more about it it's 98% sure for now so yeah that's that's just so exciting can't wait and um yeah i hope to be able to travel more for sure i want to do i want to go back to rome for a while and see my family see my my friends i haven't been back in for so long for like five months i think now and um i'm kind of starting to feel it a lot especially when i see that you know my my dad is there i haven't seen him in a while uh well my mom is in the room in italy right now so in, in sorry in toronto right now so uh, i've seen her i'll probably take a few shots of um mines because that's where i am uh we get uh, we fly into frankfurt airport but um we come to mines uh so i'll take a few videos of that a few shots uh, so you can see how cute this town is. I've been here just once, so I don't even know it that that much. Um, so so yeah, I'll do that, and then uh, I'll see you probably in the next year if I can't edit this video before tomorrow night. Yeah. Okay, guys, I put my face on. Um, so I'm just waiting for 5 p.m. to come around and then I am going out and finally I'm gonna have my dinner.